Welcome to the New Co Shift Dialogues, where we speak with leaders in business, government, and media, the people on the front lines of the greatest shift in business since the Industrial Revolution. We know there has to be change that, that better recognizes how the digital world is going to work, um, and that's all we're, we're kind of proposing is we need, to, we need to modernize our approaches as opposed to using legacy yep. practices for a very different world. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned um, you know, being in this industry and at this company for, for 23 years, you know, the, look, you, can, you should only get annoyed with yourself. Had we had more forward-thinking policy the last 20 years and not gotten so behind, um, my very strong belief is that we wouldn't be in the pain we're in right now. Only 15% of all the capital flowing out of U.S. financial institutions right now, and I'm including uh, big banks, insurance companies, real estate trust, anybody that kind of, you know, moves money around. All the cash flowing out of those institutions, only 15% of it is, be is being invested in businesses. So where's the rest of it going? I think it's really important that we start framing it as a survival issue. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, you know, what makes the system work. Mm -hmm. If you don't tackle this problem, you will eventually be out of business. Mm -hmm. and, and the question is, can you get people to think long term? Again, it's hard to live in San Francisco where Uber was born and not to think about how the internet and ubiquitous GPS um, can change markets that frustrate you. They're going to force these companies, I think, to change their ways because they're not going to tolerate like, the poisoning of a, of a generation. The grit that they have, the perseverance that they have, the ability to direct themselves, the ability to seek out problems and not just solve problems, mm -hmm. I think for certainly those of us who've kind of got a glimpse of the future, working right. in Silicon Valley, being entrepreneurs, you know, being at places like Google, it's pretty obvious that, that those are the skills that you're gonna need to have, those are the characteristics that you're gonna mm -hmm. have to be successful, not just you know, being good at English and math and, and knowing history. Right. A special thanks to our partners at the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center, a nonprofit dedicated to providing entrepreneurs with quality resources and access to mentors, training, and networking, all at no charge.